hey thank you so much for watching if this is your first time of tuning into viva's canadian journey please don't forget to subscribe it is extremely easy to do so all you have to do is just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon today let us talk about the cheapest streams available if you want to come and work in canada as a skilled worker as we all know it's quite expensive settlement funds are expensive but there's a few streams that people label as cheap okay so let's talk about them let's get started every time i come and i talk about you know how to come to canada as a skilled worker you know i talk about the criteria and i mention the proof of funds that's the settlement funds the amount you need to show to immigration canada that you have in your account i always make sure i talk about it but during the course of the week uh one of my subscribers you know uh buzzed me and she's like biba you'll be so proud of me i've done my ELs. i did really well she also took the french exam um you know her educational credential um evaluation also went well so she's almost she almost has everything she needs to start applying you know um for the skilled worker stream she wants to come via the express entry stream and i was like that's great and once we had checked you know made sure she had ticked all the boxes i was like and you have your proof of funds ready abby you have it available and she's like what and you know she's like biba you never mentioned that in your videos i said i do i mentioned it as part of the criteria she said i've never done a video just to talk about the proof of funds i said there is no way you can think of coming to canada whether you're coming to study whether you've gotten a job without having proof of funds at the back of your mind okay and she she blamed me or she tried to blame me for this so today let us talk about proof of funds and the cheapest okay because while i was talking to her during the course of the week she's like okay which one is the cheapest was the you know because she didn't have um the complete funds for the express entry so i've said this several times and i'm going to say it again proof of funds or settlement funds is the amount you need to show immigration canada when you're coming to when you submit your application to come and um, live in canada whether you're coming as a student whether you're coming um to visit holiday visa you need to show you have some funds whether you're coming via the skilled worker stream okay now what happens is that the the way it works is that different streams have their different requirements for the amount that you need so today let's talk about um the cheapest one the most affordable ones okay i'm gonna be using a family if you're coming a family of two so for instance you and um a child or you and your spouse okay and i'm also going to put all the links to the um that i'm going to talk all the stuff i'm going to talk about i'm going to put the links in the description of the video okay now the most expensive is if you're coming as a skilled worker is the um the coming via the express entry profile you know you're coming when you hear people say oh i'm coming as a permanent residence so as a family of two for the express entry stream you need about seventeen thousand dollars so above seventeen thousand dollars for a family of two seventeen thousand canadian dollars now i'm just trying to calculate that in my head in naira that's close to 17 million naira that's a lot of money so imagine if you were coming with your spouse and a number of children okay now the a stream that is um not as expensive as that as seventeen thousand. so if you're coming family of two will be the um rural renewal stream in alberta i believe that i've talked about this stream in my uh, one of my previous videos i'm going to put the link in the description but this stream is for foreign skilled workers who want to live in alberta and don't mind living in a rural community the way this stream works is that the community you apply to the community okay you if you meet the criteria for the community you've gone through the application process the community can endorse you and then you can get your um, permanent residency okay one of the criteria for this stream is that you need to get a job in the community 
Now, when anybody says Alberta, the first thing that comes to people's mind is Calgary and Edmonton. No, no, no. When you are thinking about this rural renewal stream, these are for communities outside of Calgary and outside of Edmonton. So we're talking small communities that have about 1,000, 10,000 um, people, really small rural communities. So if you don't mind moving to one of these communities, you might want to consider this stream. And just a couple of months ago, um, the province of Alberta added some more communities to this stream. I'm going to put all the links in the description of the video. Okay, so if you are if you're thinking about coming to uh, applying to this stream, the rural renewal stream in Alberta, and you're thinking of you know a small community like you know Lethbridge. I hope I pronounced that well, or one of the other um, communities. If you're coming. As a family of two, you need between 12 and 13,000, 12 to 13,000 Canadian dollars. Now, if you're coming to a community with less than um, 30,000 people, so it's a community, they have like 10 from 10 to 30,000 people, they need about 12,000 plus Canadian dollars for a family of two. If you're going to a larger community with 30,000 to 100,000 people, then you need 13,000 Canadian dollars plus for a family of two. So, um, yes, that's some serious funds, but it's also about 5,000, 4,000 Canadian dollars cheaper than the federal stream. Okay, so it honestly is worth considering. And you'll be in everybody's favorite province right now. Everybody's favorite province right now is the province of Alberta. I tell you that. There seems to be like an Alberta craze, okay? Now, finally, the cheapest, the cheapest stream for skilled workers remains everybody's favorite and my favorite, the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. It's now called the program. Okay, so for a family of two, you need just above 4,000 Canadian dollars. That's fantastic. I'm not going to talk much about this stream because I have, I have about four or five videos where I do a lot of justice on this stream. I talk about the criteria. I also provide the um, employers in the different provinces that are looking for skilled workers under this stream. Okay, so you want to refer to previous videos. But this Atlantic Immigration Program, if you're new to all of this, is um, for the four Atlantic provinces. So it's not, uh, if you want to go to the likes of Ontario or BC, this is not for you. It's for the province of Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, PEI, and New Finland. Okay, this is an employer-based stream or program, meaning you must get a job from one of the employers in one of these four provinces, okay? And it has to be um, one of the employers that is endorsed by the provinces. A few of the provinces have um, updated their employer list. So I'm going to put the link again in the description of the video. But like I said, this is the cheapest stream for skilled workers. Family of two a bit over four thousand canadian dollars it doesn't get any more affordable than that and i know a number of people that have been successful via this stream so if you're thinking of coming to canada you want to relocate as a skilled worker let's not even talk about this you know coming um, to study because that's a lot of money but you want to relocate as a skilled worker and you've done all you can you've done um you've met all the criteria the language you have the work experience you've done your credential evaluation everything you need to do and you're thinking about the funds then a stream to consider is the atlantic immigration program or the rural renewal stream of alberta all the links in the description of the video so these are these two streams are in my opinion the most affordable people say the cheapest but if you're considering coming to canada you might want to check it out for more information about you know relocating to canada for more tips on the provinces that are looking and are still still calling for skilled workers you may want to follow me on instagram at people's canadian journey on Facebook, same name, and on YouTube. Until next time, keep watching Viva's Canadian Journey. Thank you.
Thank you.